special. We got a look into what it's like to live with the Amaru community of the Andes. What I find fascinating, their appreciation for what they call Pachamama, Mother Earth. <laughs> we engage in this beautiful ceremony. Nosotros compartimos la alegría o la tristeza siempre con la hoja de a culture and a people honor the earth, give a blessing to Pachamama. I think we have more to learn from them than they from us. Someone pulls out this big knife. I thought it was going to get ugly, but we went through the process of making from the wool to the string. I all these people are just running around. I see them scurrying off and zooming one way and the other. <laughs> What's going on? They were like spiders. They were like moving intricately on this web of their community, knowing exactly what to do. And this, this is probably the best souvenir I could get from them other than a poncho. We're going to eat this. Okay. Don't look. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's going to be our lunch. See the contrast? <laughs> we went to a very special place called Saksai Woman. The temple, the Inca, brought in these limestone pieces. They all fit into place with no cement. They're pretty big. <laughs> Just looking at them, you feel dwarfed. I guess sexy woman, I thought it was sexy woman. Behind me, there's a number of llamas having sex with each other. It was kind of fitting, in a sense, to see a bunch of llamas or alpacas. <laughs> Getting it on. <laughs> so today we're gonna be checking out salt ponds and uh, there's about 5,000 of these salt ponds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Salt. I've met up with this really amazing tour guy. His name is Wilfredo. Samuel Andrews. Salty. I think Wilfredo really understands what I want to experience here. Hey, you, you salt bag is waiting for you. Let's go. Are you there con con la bolsa? Ah, Así. Just like the Inca. Where are we going? It's like a little cake walk. Hola, señor, cómo está? Ah, that wasn't easy. I think we do that for 10 hours a day. 50 kilos each bag, going up and down these salt ponds. Thousands of year old tradition. I'm a little tired. Chicha! Beer. That's my hero. <sighs> Hanging out, having a beer. Nowhere else in Peru can you find something like this. So he who controlled the power. Hmm. Chicha, dude. It's a chicha. <laughs> Let's go lift some more salt. Probably a few iconic experiences you want to cross off your list. Maybe an African safari, or a trek through the Himalayas, or even a road trip through the United States. And of course, one thing you wouldn't want to forget is being here right now, looking over the lost civilization of the Inca, and of, of course, Machu Picchu. I mean, to build, to construct these massive temples at such high altitudes with pure manpower. 
It's beyond work. What I've come to realize by being here in this land is that that lost civilization of the Inca really isn't lost at all. It's found every single day in the people, the culture, the artwork, the food, and the stonework. And for the traveler, you can still feel that connectedness today. Thank you.